we wanted to know exactly what was going on up here. So last Monday, we rented a van, covered up all the windows, and placed I-Team cameraman Greg Meyer inside that van with his video camera. At about 9.30 in the morning, we parked it right here, sitting just down the street from Mr. Rizzo's house. It should be noted that the van was parked on a public street in broad daylight. At no time did any of our people go on Mr. Rizzo's property. What you're looking at is what cameraman Meyer saw through the lens of the hidden I-Team camera that morning. Not much happened for about three hours. And then around noon, several police officers became suspicious of our vehicle. If you look closely, you can see some of them in the van's rearview mirror. Now, in just a moment, we'll show you the unedited tape of exactly what happened when one of our IT members opened the truck door. But before we do, we want you to know that when the door was open, cameraman Meyer immediately handed over this official Philadelphia police press pass in order to clearly identify himself to everybody on the scene. And also remember, as you watch this, that Frank Rizzo is not a member of the Philadelphia Police Department, and this is supposed to be an official police matter. Here we go. All right. Who wants to wait a minute? Let him my damn time. That's enough. What do you mean it's enough? We want to know who you are. Who are you, sir? So I have some I, identification. I, identification. Come on out. If you ever come out holding your hands up like that, you'll get you'll get you'll get in trouble. We want to know who you are and what you're doing up here. Who is he? I thought it was somebody right. here to hurt somebody. We're up here for security, you know? Would have been a lot easier to stop and tell us you're here. We don't know. He's saying you have a dog in here, dog. right? A bunch of... <laughs> we could have shot you or something. We don't know. Hold that. Take that thing out. Unhook it. Or I'll throw it out in the middle of the goddamn street. You turn that off. It's on. It's on. Well, yeah, it's on. on. It's still won't be on. on long. It's still on. Let me tell you something. You know, I know. You know, I've been around a long time, and I just can't understand. It's all right. I'll pull another one. Get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing wrong with your TV set. It's just that Mr. Rizzo finally broke our equipment. Last Friday, I asked Police Commissioner Morton Solomon about this incident. And Mayor Rizzo, the former mayor of Philadelphia, uh, after it. Our cameraman had properly identified himself, and the police officer at the scene read aloud Philadelphia press pass. Mayor Rizzo, holding the press pass in one hand, reached inside this truck, which we feel he had no right to do, sir, and ripped out the cables off of our reporter and damaged the, the camera and the mm -hmm. cables and, and the reporter. Uh, you've never heard of this before? No, no one has sir. informed you of this? No, sir. Well, that, in fact, is what happened. And well, five members of your department, sir, stood by and not only did nothing and took orders from the mayor, who was apparently in charge of this operation, but they were smiling and laughing at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like you to present these facts to our internal affair, and we'll be happy to investigate it and consult with the DA of, about the uh, possible charges. Yesterday, while openly videotaping on Creefeld Street, we ran into Mr. Rizzo and tried to ask him about his actions last Monday. Mayor Rizzo. Stan Borman from Channel 3 News. Could we... Uh, how are you? Fine, sir. How are you? Good. Could we talk with you for just a moment? No, I'm busy. You couldn't answer any of our questions? I wouldn't talk to you under any condition. Why is that, sir? Forget it. Scram. Get out of here. Sir, I understand now that look, these... get away from me. I am now a private citizen. Yes, you sir. get away from me. We're allowed to be on the streets, sir. I don't want to talk to you. Get away from me. How do you feel about the security guards look, being get away taken from, off of you, sir? Get away from me or I'm going to throw you out in the middle of the street. Sir, uh, one more question. I'm telling you, get away from me. You were the symbol of law and order in Philadelphia, sir, for many years. People looked get up to you and respected me. you. Look, creep, get out of here. How could you justify your actions at our cameras last Monday creep, in front of your get house? Out. You're a creep. We're a member of the media. We'd you're like a, to have an answer to our question. You're a creep. Why did you attack our cameras, sir? Get it all. Don't miss any of it. You're a creep. Get away from me. Would you answer the question? You know, you hide behind that press card. I'm not hiding Give behind me. anything, sir. Well, I just you, wanted I'll to get some answers. I'll tell you what to do. There's a gang of you here. There's enough of you here. By myself, I'll take you physically. Well, I'm not asking I'll you go, to take me physically. Well, get away from me. Well, sir, I'm on the if public you're, street. You're I, should be, I should be authorized to be here. That... I'll break it over your head. I'll break it over your head. Get away from me, you crumb. That's a challenge, except I'll put my dog away, and I'll come back, and you got one, two, three, and I'll do it along with you. It's in that back of that fence, just the three of us, four of us, me and you. 
show you what kind of a man you are. You're less than a man. Okay? You're a crumb creep. And I wouldn't take that off of nobody. And there's three of you and I'm by myself. And when it's over, there'll be nothing to it. Win or lose, okay? But you don't have the courage. You're a real crumb bum. Put that on camera. You're a crumb bum, the three of you. And I challenge you. You're a coward. You're a yellow sneak. And if you want to... Now, what I say, let's forget all the rules of this great country we live in. I will go back to that wall with the three of you. Just me. There is a wall here. You're a crumb creep coward. You can't take... You don't. You won't stand up to a I'm man. Sta I'm standing up. We're not here to fight. We're here to get some answers oh, to well, some questions. That's answers. all. I want to fight you. Why is that? Because you're a crumb creep lush coward. You don't even know me, Mayor. You are a lush. I can tell by looking at you. I was a cop all my life, and I know a lush when I see one. And you're a lush. You're going to have a hell of a story on that one. <laughs> Play every word of it, crumb. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, this afternoon, Channel 3 station manager Bill Aber signed this official complaint with the police department against the officers who stood by and, as you saw, did literally nothing to restrain Mr. Rizzo from damaging our equipment. As you heard Police Commissioner Solomon say just a moment ago, any other charges will be up to him and the district attorney, Ed Rendell. One of the unfortunate aspects of all of this is that we have become the focus of this story. When it all started, we just wanted to know if your tax dollars were being properly spent for the continuing use of security guards for Mr. Rizzo. We still don't have the answer to that question. We do know, however, that 12 hours after our initial encounter with Rizzo, all police officers were pulled off the house. Commissioner Solomon insists that the timing was purely coincidental. A personal note now, if you will. When I walked over to the former mayor on the street yesterday, I was not looking for an invitation to duke it out, and I most certainly did not expect to be maligned and called a lush by Mr. Rizzo. All I wanted were some simple answers to some simple questions, and you saw what happened. By the way, we decided to play the entire interview with Mr. Rizzo unedited so we wouldn't be accused of tampering with the tape to show us in a better light or him in a less favorable light. You saw it exactly the way it went down, no more, no less. As far as Rizzo's charge that I have a drinking problem, I won't even dignify that with any answer. <laughs>